Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. My name is Dr. Pramil Charyath. I'm a program director in internal medicine residency and transitional residency. Teach medical students and residents on a regular basis and associate professor for medicine in the two large medical school in the United States. So let's get into our topic. We've been doing a series of lectures on antibiotics, as you know. Um, so today we're going to jump into a different class of for drugs. Okay, so what are the class? They are antibiotic blocking the protein production. Okay, Lar there are a large number of antibiotics in that group. Before we jump into naming each drug and where they will attack, and let's look at the protein production. How does the bacteria produce the protein? It starts with the DNA right here, and then go through a process called transcription. And there's an important enzyme here, RNA polymerase. Okay? And then they come to the translation, which is the 30S subunit of uh, ribosomes involved, 30S and 50S subunit. And then we have another process called the folding, and then finally protein. And then we're going to look at each area which antibiotic is going to work. Okay, so the first step happens DNA, the transcription process, and the drugs which inhibit the RNA polymerase belong to the group of drugs called rifamycins. Okay, now what are rifamycin? Rifambic, rifabutin, rifapentin, and rifaxin. We have four drugs to remember in the rifamycin group. Now, we did that. Now the major drug is happening is the translation. Let's move to the translation process. You got uh, uh, two, I mean, a 30th subunit and 50th subunit of the ribosome. So let's look at which drug work on the 30th subunit. Let's start with the amino glycosides. What are they? Streptomycin, gentamicin, tolbromycin, amicacin, and neomycins. Okay, so those um, five drugs comes under the category aminoglycosides, and they belong to this. They are, they were inhibiting this 30 uh, subunit. That's what they act on. Okay, now when we look at the next group of drug again on the 30 uh, subunit is tetracycline. Now they are doxycycline, even tetracycline and minocycline. Three drugs we need to know. One more group is glycyclines that also uh, works on this affecting the 30th subunits. That belongs to the drug is digicycline, one of the brand new drugs available. Okay, so remember three classes here on 30 subunits, aminoglycoside, tetracyclines, and glycyclines. Okay, now let's look at the 50th subunits, which are the antibiotics works on that. So first one, our favorite micro macrolides, right? One of the most common drugs we prescribe is azithromycin. So um, erythromycin, azithromycin, and clarithromycin, okay? Then we have another group of drug called ketolides, and we need to know about telithromycin. Next group is chloramphenicol. Next group is clindamycin. And then you got streptogramins. You got cunipristine and dalfopristine, brand new antibiotics into that group. Now, again, we got worry about oxazolindones. They work on the linosolate, I mean, they work on the 50th subunit. We got linosolate and tedisolate. Again, two brand new drugs, okay? Um, and then we have another group, nitroferentine. It's a little bit separate. What nitroferentine does, it goes into the cell, and these flavor proteins in the cell break down to reactive metabolites. And those reactive metabolites start attacking the DNA and the ribosome. That's the way it works, okay? Um, so remember that. So this is what, in a nutshell, this is what we're going to do next, uh, I mean, our next presentation. Each of the drugs we're going to go into and kind of talk to you. So let's take one more step behind and look at the classification. You got RNA polymerase, rifamycin, only one group we need to know, okay? And then we got 30S and 50S. And the 50S, we got macrolide, ketolides, chloramphenicol, clindamycin, streptogramins, and oxalidinones, okay? They work on the 50th subunits. When you take over 30th subunit, you get aminoglycoside, tetracyclines, glycyclines. And the nitroferentin is a separate class which um, you know, they, they go into the cell, breaking, I mean, broken down by uh, flavor proteins, reactive metabolized form, they attack DNA and ribosomes, okay? Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation on each of these drugs. We're going to go into detail and kind of tell you everything about that drug. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back. Thank you. Bye.